Welcome back to Profiles in Caring as we conclude our story now on the Opportunity Foundation and the Eagle Eyes technology with a look at just how far this technology might reach. We have been totally blown away as we begin to work with children who are so locked inside their bodies. One particular young man whose name is Derek Fulmer. Derek is an absolute darling child, but he has never done anything. He had never done anything in his life, not even cry. I was with him one day at a wedding and I got right close into his face and I knew he was tracking with me. So I told his mom about Eagle Eyes. She said, Debbie, <coughs> let's try it. They hooked Derek up and told us how it was going to work. And just, they had him do the paint picture first. And it just brought tears to your eyes because that was the first time my child was doing anything independent of, of me. You know, it was the first time he was doing anything. He has been working with Eagle Eyes now for several months. As I mentioned, he had never cried before. Not only is he now crying, but he is also starting to laugh for the first time in five years. Now that's pretty incredible. If we can take what little he has, what if it's just a tiny yeah. bit, and we can train that to even get a yes and a no, that, that, would be, that would mean the world to us. So with Eagle Eyes, we're starting by having him um, just be able to do a cause and effect. And if we can take his brain and train, if you do this, this will happen. If you do this, this will happen. And over and over and over again, and then hopefully, what if we could get, we'll get like a computer and have a yes and a no. And if he could just tell us yes and no, then we'd be so grateful. And I think that Eagle Eyes is a tool that can help us get, get, to, that, get to that point. One of the things I'm really cognizant of, about with Eagle Eyes is to never overpromise anything because Eagle Eyes is not a magic wand. It's not going to cure the disability. It's a tool that's going to help these kids play games. Some of them may move to communication boards and a handful of them will be able to move on and be educated. And so if we can make the tiniest difference for them, we've helped them to move forward with their life. One of the things that we're going to do for our silent auction is have sponsor a child for Eagle Eyes. And we're hoping that we might get some people doing that type of thing. Again, because $1,200 really isn't that much money, you know? Not to give somebody a life who's never had one before. As word and the need began to spread of Eagle Eyes, the foundation set out to find the perfect spokesperson for the product. But in this case, the term spokesperson takes on a little different meaning. The reason I volunteer for Eagle Eyes is to make sure that this technology is the best it can be for people with physical challenges so that they can learn to express themselves to the best of their ability. Britt Allen is more than excited to tell you all about Eagle Eyes and his views on life. But be ready to spend some time with him while you hear about it. Because Britt has to tell you these things one keystroke and one letter at a time through his personalized voice machine. <laughs> we know you're incredibly gifted and <clears throat> smart. But what happens when other people uh, don't know that you are or think that you're not? It used to bug me when I was younger, but now I just ignore them because I know that it isn't their fault that they don't understand me and are scared to get to know me and who I really am. What do you think it is like for youngsters with no means of communication except their eyes? Well, without this technology, it is very scary and very lonely, but with this technology, it is very freeing. How do you feel when you see a child make a breakthrough in communication? Uh -huh. When I see a child make a breakthrough in communication, it is very rewarding to me because I know that I had a hand in making that be able to communicate. Success can be measured in many ways through eagle eyes, from a young child who can now shoot down aliens or draw star patterns which end up as a father's Valentine's Day card to what can be considered a one in a million success story that has given a voice to Michael.
Michael Christopher Nash. What is clear is that in a world where technology streams by us at lightning speed, it is the small steps of products like Eagle Eyes which provide the opportunity for so many special individuals to finally do what the majority of us constantly take for granted, communicate. If you would like to help provide a voice for this population, perhaps to provide a set of eagle eyes for someone who needs it, the Opportunity Foundation is the place for you. To learn more, log on to our website, profilesandcaring.org. For all of us at Profiles and Caring, I'm Kimberly Perkins. Thanks for watching, and thanks for caring.